I'm prompted to record this video, the 7th, and we just had an earthquake, a little bit of a one, and it's nearing 11 o'clock at night here, and so I just want to tell the spies or whoever, whoever's watching this, um, do you not hear the earth, like, do you not hear the earth calling? For you, do you not hear the crisis in the air or the humanitarian issues? Do you not hear? Period. Now, there is going to be earth changes that might make you start hearing, whether you know it, like it or not. You know, hearing is selected to a lot of people, but what's about to happen next like say by the time okay so this is 10 days before i predict that there's going to be such earth changes in the form of maybe an earthquake you don't we don't know that that it it, it, it nothing could, will ever be the same um after that you know that's the way it can be you know like as far as if how big the earthquake is see we just had a little earthquake and see this is the thing is um it's because, um, see, I, I'm not interested in how the earth is being treated mainly is how human ecology uh, or the human energy, human energy is being squandered. How that they don't know how to, pardon me, they don't know how to get along. And see, I, I can tell something is about to come because um, I'm sick and tired of it. And, and the more people start going, you know what, thinking like with this energy, see the, the, um, the more people that are powerful like me, who have real power, get authentically angered and fed up. Um, and we, and we start to resonate a kind of the, the frustration and anger that it, it can be. It really is to, to kind of see like, oh no, there's a better route, but people pick this kind of route which is you know there's love that we need to do but no they don't and it's very stupid it has gotten stupid so what we don't just sit here and suffer like that no intervention happens something intervenes and we go oh, yay and unfortunately it's it got to be i mean uh, uh, some earth-changing catastrophic event unfortunately yes so to get these people's attention see the thing is is uh, they don't have much respect anyway for anything um but when emergency happens like that people like me and all else let's say because the reason why i'm here is because my family is a survivalist they are survivalists and they know what caused the depression in the 20s which is your so-called government that you protect, that you think um, you should work so diligently for and give them taxes and everything. And even though we do that, um, anyway, they know why we, you know, recede up into the mountains. And that's been a big problem for me. You know, um, I just left an article in the true... Um, the community's true locals um, section there, um, just holding the hands of people that suffer daily because of how much this place has changed away from a community that can care about the quality of the silence and, yeah, say, taking the right to be remain silent. Um, I was shown so much in the past two days about um, that particular subject matter, and um, I just have to, I mean, I was getting downloads, and I just have to absorb now, like, what precisely. See, the, the problem is that we have, um, it's not going to be a problem, it's when, if, when Gaia, Gaia um, the earth steps in and starts to shake and do things in areas where she, she can, where it's possible that um, places will be called to awakening. Like, they will have to figure out how to 
get the hell out or get the hell in. But the bottom line is, is uh, we can't afford to live oblivious the way we have, especially if somebody like me has been saying no, and the earth is going to shake because we don't stay pissed and seethe without it. Who, Shana? What? Oh, there's some people like, hey, do you, do you think Christ over there was just peaches and cream and when she comes back or he, it's just going to be tra-la-la? No. That person is probably fucking pissed for being disenfranchised. And if, if you call upon anybody to come and help you like that again, oh yeah, you're going to get some help. Uh-huh. <laughs> what I mean is they're going to give you the best thing you need, which is some kind of thing that will make you get off your fucking knees, get up off of your, stop being belly up with your, what? Well, a lot of people are moving with fear. They disrespect people like me who would say, oh, oh, no, no, no. And also how, see, they're afraid. They're frightened by people like me who, we are soothsayers. We are artists. We are psychic people. We are audiographic people. We are um, clairvoyant people. And yeah, um, we might be here mixed in the, with these people, the militant fucking zombies. See, and we're so tired of mixing it up with you fucking people, right? And and so um, the problem is, is people that don't um, remember. They literally just, they're not paying attention. So they don't remember that we had said something. And then when things correlate and say, no, see, and we can see it. We're like, fucking A. I had said that that was going to happen because why? Well, um, we were angry um, when, when, um, God's children, it's the same as earth, getting angry, and we can't sit dormant anymore. We don't sit and take your shit anymore. No, things change, and it's changing for the better. We can't live with people that live in denial and just flat fucking lie and smirk at you because they think that they won with their ability to and just high in numbers or high in association, really just strength in number by association, which has nothing to do with being able to resonate, being having power by resonation. See, when there's power by resonation, I'm telling you right now, um, I'm making this video because I just uh, felt an earthquake. And it's on the same day that I had told somebody who I'm, I was just like, I got up and I just started saying something. I said, you know what? And with this right here, this, this kind of fucking spark and anger and, and just knowing that, you know what, a lot needs to go on here before we start really getting real. We can't live this fucking overlay and something needs to fucking pull us up out of it and getting real. And an earthquake will. And it does. See, I felt this before. See, see, see it's just like, uh, you know what, I'm getting pissed and I get, I get pissed enough and the earth starts to shaking. I have fucking Earth, Venus, and if I had, see, I had just turned off my Wi-Fi, but I, if it was still on, I would go on to the platform, so I just put some uh, things on, saying, hey man, listen to this chaos, chaos shit, aren't you sick and tired of it, as far as, like, where I live in the locality, locally, um, the, uh, it's, it is the world condensed, you know, the pe place is going mad, and when, up here, when it comes up here, it's like, yeah. We could do a lot better than that. We could start talking with each other and communicating. And see, that's the thing I did last night as I told some people to shut their fucking dogs up. And really, I, I wish that I can belt it out to everybody. And, and, and you know, this is the thing. is like, well, I did say something about it. Said, you know, this is the first night in a while that we just never have dogs barking overnight. And there's one that kind of does it, but it's slowing down because I don't think, I don't see how people allow it. It's profuse and weird. And so, um, but see, it's, it's strange because, you, you know, you, you sense there's a population that once you say something, especially on a local scale, like what I just did, if you say, oh, um, this is a first, but we don't usually have dogs barking. Really, I never said don't have your dog barking because... If you say that, if you say, please, um, don't allow your dogs to bark all night, they will, as a satanic society, 
make sure that they can they do that. <laughs> but you know, it's like you know, the truth is, is you you'll never be um, righteous. See, people that fight back, at, they do um, reactive abuse to people like me who first respond. See, the first responders get reaction abuse, reactive abuse from a narcissist or whoever the society is, the society is that that has that disrespects. And then they have to call like the teacher or something, right? And let's get this worked out. It, they do, they are not standing up for anything that makes sense, right? What are you working out? What do you want somebody to listen to your story? Eventually, they're going to see that you are wrong. You like to gossip about people that are, if you want to really look at their lives, they're actually living uh, more righteously than you are. You know, they're they're not really being a problem to the environment and you. In fact, you have a problem with them because the environment in your head is disturbed just looking at them or something, you know, that's need to change. It needs to change. And, and we will, people like me, it's called the tables will turn um, immediately when, when it's seen that, oh, those people were actually well off. What I mean is they weren't as worse off as I thought they were because I'm looking at them like this because because I don't I don't think they have money enough and and it's like no I don't think you have enough um a decent presence with anything anything not even especially the earth and now we're we hope that the um, really we, we wish that the earth would open up and swallow your ass up and then close up but I think that that will cause diarrhea for her so I don't know we'll see what happens here have a good day I'll I'll put this up as soon as I get my access to my channel ability right now it's 11 11 p.m. on 7 7 um, and I won't be able to post until uh, this Friday which is um, tomorrow is Monday and then Tuesday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday five more days and that's enough time Okay, five more days. It's th two two more days before um, what we think is going to be um, major changes. If anything, it's just going to feel it trippy. We're gonna. I don't know about you, but I am somebody who is experiencing like um, getting um, more messages about things. It's so profound. It's so beautiful, though. See, the message that I'm getting about is how to keep our um, say how to what does the right to remain silent mean because they keep telling us that like right right if if we get the so-called jam or something this is how there's a way to work it take your right to remain silent and what does that mean well i learned so much last night um going on it, it was like halfway it was a trip it was in my sleep It was, it was after that I had, um, just, I couldn't allow, it was a night, night number two, and see, the thing is, is if you leave your dog out to bark, especially for the small dog, and I am hearing, like, okay, so there was an increase of small, little, tiny dogs that came and overlaid this place, now, they're either, either staying with friends up here for the summertime or something, but I hear it a lot, and it's like, you know what, you need to be really careful, because... A pack of coyotes can come through here and just clean up, oh, like really quick. And I hate to think think about it like that or be mean, but no. See, this is this is the thing. As I would I would hate to hear that go on. It is terrifying feel, feeling and hearing, and sounding. Um, and see, that's the thing that could happen. See, it's it's like the thing that could happen. It's going to happen next because, um, that's just the way it is here. We live in a wilderness area. Whether you like to preserve it, fuck with it, or completely ruin it or not, it doesn't matter. It's here, and um, it could switch over really quick, like the, the, the coyotes coming through here. They're just going to start taking people's dogs or something. And whatever is left out, dogs um, have been known, small dogs have been known to be taken in front of people just 10 feet away. The way that people are living oblivious, and the, and the, the, the coyote will come and just take it, see... Um, Mother Nature and her her um, world, like the animals, you see, if you do not respect and consider it sacred and honor them, they they kind of detect that and and they get a they get a go from the like the cosmos that says here go ahead and eat their dog, 
or go ahead and pull up their fucking plants or something like that as an animal that that they see that um, you could care less for their life, their presence here, and you kill them or you do something to them, well, um, you'll get karma. You'll get the worst karma. You see, you wonder, who, why, who does that happen to that their animal gets taken in front of their face? Well, it's people that are living obliviously and they don't even think twice uh, about nothing. And that's what you're going to get. Includes the earth saying, I, I, I get the fuck off of me if you can't fucking uh, live right. Hello, moth. So, yeah, I felt it and it's coming and it's like, see, I, I was talking to somebody just today and like I said, I got kind of riled up and I told him, no, this can't, this can't go on right here with this like seething anger and frustration without the earth shaking. I know me. I know me. And it happened just today. It was after. Did you feel it? Did you feel the earth shake? Come on. We are not going. We see, we, we don't not have help. We do have help. We don't not see. We do. We don't not. You know, we do. We do not see changes. We will see changes. We don't have help. We do have help. We are the help. <laughs>